Hey everyone, a couple of you were curious on how I got that fusion rifle. You know, the one that snipes people. And I'm not talking about Queen Breaker's bow. Well, what we got here is the Nightfall, Alahul, the Dark Blade. It's solar burn, so that's very important because you can use Dragon's Breath or Solar Nades with the Sunbreaker exotic. Sunbreaker exotic makes your solar nade last longer. Well, you can use either of those two to suicide on the boss and repeatedly farm them. So therefore, you have a pretty damn good chance of actually getting this, let's just call it Fusion Winter's Lie. It essentially can snipe people like a Queen Breaker's bow, and it's a legendary fusion rifle. So the first 5 minutes and 50 seconds of this video is me just going through the beginning of the Nightfall by myself. So if you're curious on how to do that yourself, just follow what I did. It's pretty easy, but I'll try to walk you through it as I go. If you already know what you're doing, you're a crucible boss, then skip to 5 minutes and 50 seconds if you want to learn how to farm the end, end of the boss. What's his name? Alahul. So to start off, you can use your ghost to go skip ahead. This will only save a couple seconds, but it might be important later in the long run if you're doing this for a couple hours, you know. So what I did right here is I switched back to firebolt grenades and focus burst, because I realized I had solar grenades from the last time I tried this. Firebolt grenades are a little bit of a safer option, you know. So at the beginning right here, I'm just killing enemies trying to get my self res super ready to go. And I failed a little bit when the thrall came out, but it's okay, you can wipe a hundred times here, makes no difference. All you gotta do is get a super so that you can tank all the enemies and run past them. So that's exactly what I did right here. One important thing to note about this Nightfall is that the grounded perk is active. So you can see all the wizards and the acolytes and shit murked me. So then I just self res, got some extra armor, flame shield, and ran past. To open the door, all you do is kill the wizard in front of it and then stand near the door, and it opens. So now we're at the hive batteries in a second after I'm done running through this extra long, unnecessary tunnel. So now we're at the asylum. You have to decrypt or just basically stand on the capture point of the left and right batteries. You can snipe everything, a scout rifle is recommended for this spot. Just be patient, take your time, you don't want to wipe for some unnecessary reason. A lot of the time I jump to the left or right and I fall off the map, but that's okay, you got a self res just in case. So now you open the door. For this next part, just sit back, snipe some enemies, do what you have to. The only enemies that take priority at this part are the Scions and the Wizard at the end. Those Scions are pesky little bastards. They will multiply on you, like, I, I can't think of a good joke about multiplying. Anyway, so you just kill all the Scions, like that. I'm using the Arminius auto rifle, and it destroys. The Phalanx come out, you know, the shield bastard guys. You just snipe them, no problem, easy day. Be sure not to jump. Now the wizard comes out, I focus all my DPS on the wizard, then I focus on sniping the blights, then you just snipe everything else, it's that simple. Now you're pretty much done with this room. You just kill the knight, kill the blight, and then try not to get stomped by that ogre. 
So for this part, what you're going to want to do is, again, take it slow. You want to snipe everything at the doors. Well, just everything threatening. And you're going to use your self-res again to tank all the damage if you happen to die by all the shriekers in this room. So you see, I cleared most of the room, now I'm gonna run there. Fortunately, I don't actually get killed by anything. But if you did, no big deal, you just self-res. Now here's the important part, I'm switching to the Sunbreaker Year 1 Exotic and Solar Nades. It's gonna be important once you get to the boss. So now all you have left till you get to the boss is the Thrall Bridge. I'm also switching to Dragon's Breath, just in case I don't feel like using Solar Nades to suicide on the boss. Dragon's Breath works just as well. So now you just mow down all the thrall and you'll be at the boss in no time. So it's kind of hard to tell what's going on in this boss room, but I switched to balance glide to make it easier to get on top of these chandeliers. Basically what you do is you just repeatedly jump over and over again until by some very lucky reason you get on the chandelier. Then all you gotta do is just DPS the boss. Get them really, really low, really, really fast. Use solar weapons, use solar grenades, use dragon's breath. Just don't get killed by curse thrall. Worst case scenario, you accidentally die. You just self-res. It's no big deal. The most important thing, though, is you don't want to do too much damage on the boss. You'll see why in a second. So now I got the boss low enough health, and I kill myself with the dragon's breath but I left him with slightly too much health. So I'm just gonna do it again, no big deal. You can attempt this as many times as you want. Just keep in mind, if you're alone, it takes about 15 minutes to run through the first part, and then you can farm the boss every two to three minutes. This right here is what it looks like when it goes right. Notice all the heavy ammo on the floor. I have no idea why that's there, but the point is, boss comes at me, he's low health, he doesn't walk in that solar grenade, I kill him, he has to die at the one and a half to two second mark, somewhere in there, so you can get the loot. Sometimes he dies off screen, but it doesn't happen 100% of the time. So now you spawn back up top, and lo and behold, you'll see my loot below. Repeat this, I don't know, as many times as you want. If you're lucky, you'll get yourself a Dark Blades fight. Now I might do a review on that, but I'm gonna wait till after the patch. The perks you wanna look out for, a rangefinder, brace frame, rifle barrel, knee pads, underdog, hidden hand, and that's pretty much it. I only spent like 20 minutes on this video, so I realize now that I said no big deal a lot in this video, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Anyway guys, good luck farming. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what drops you got in the comments.